morning everyone, it's Jamie. Today's Thursday and that is my day to do video diary on our Pretty Prudent YouTube channel at Prudent Baby. So I don't really feel like talking about serious things like I do in my adoption video diary and I was getting ready and I thought maybe everyone always asks me about like my makeup and my hair so I thought I would maybe just share with you about that. So I clearly have not done anything with my hair yet. I washed it yesterday. Uh, so I don't want to wash it again today, but I would like to style it because I have to go places like to therapy. And I figure if I go completely unmade up and with my hair done, he'll think that I'm depressed or something. So, <laughs> so I'm going to put myself together. So anyway, we're here in my husband's bathroom. Yes, uh, he is forced to use the non master bathroom. I don't, I don't need any of that man business up in my bathroom. But he has more drawers, so he has all of my hair products in his bathroom. So let's look at what we've got. Let me turn the light on. Okay, so this is my drawer full of hair styling tools. Let's see if you can see. Hot airbrush. Obsessed with this. Used it yesterday. Makes drying your hair and making it straight or bouncy very easy. Ah! Hand crab. Lives in the bathroom. My daughter made that when she was like two years old. Okay, so we've got... The hot air brush. This I'm obsessed with. If you're interested in knowing about how this works, maybe I will do a post on it. But my hair is dry, so we're not doing that today. I've got my big fat curling iron, but don't feel like curling my hair today. Straightener. This comes in handy sometimes, but I actually feel like slick straight hair isn't kind of the thing right now, so I usually straighten it with um, a round brush or the hot air brush. Um, curling wand. This thing is so phallic. Um, this one actually looks really great on Jacinda's hair. Um, it doesn't work that well on my hair. Right. Tapered curling wand. This is great for ringlets. I feel like ringlets are adorable on like Taylor Swift, but not on 35 year old women. I actually use this when I want to curl Scarlett's hair because she loves having little ringlets. And it's pink, I think, which just makes it her favorite. Um, this is my favorite of the curling irons. It's a one-inch hot tools. I love this because it heats up in literally five seconds. Um, but I'm not in the mood for that today. I think today I'm going to go with the deep waver. The deep waver is like a crimping iron. You kind of just get a piece of your hair and do this and this. And this, but I cannot hold my phone and do this at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and deep wave my hair right now, and then I will be back and we can talk makeup. Okay, deep waving. So first things first, uh, a heat protector. I like this one. I have like five different ones. This one just happens to be in this bathroom. Um, but always put a heat protector on your hair, and I think especially when you're using any sort of like crimping kind of action, um, like a or a flat iron. Uh, it can make your hair really frizzy. So I uh, definitely use a heat protector first. And then I section off my hair into three sections. You can see it in the mirror. So I do one, pull it to the top and clip it. And then another row, pull it to the top and clip it. See? And then I start with the bottom. Okay, so you can see I did the bottom. So my hair is pretty dark, so it's hard to see. There's the first layer. Done with the deep waver. Now for layer two. Okay, layer two is done. See? Getting some volume, seeing some nice waves. All right, time to finish it up. And that's layer three. So pretty fluffy and curly. Um, I'm growing my bangs out, so I'm not sure how I feel about this. Could always do like a little braid and a clip or something. Um, so the next step is just to put a little hairspray up in it. So let's go back in my bathroom the bedroom, ignore my bed that's not made yet, back into my bathroom, my favorite hairspray, please hold, alright, it's a little fluffy from spray, but that's what I'm working with, what do you think, deep waver, are you guys a fan? So I was going to go through and show you my makeup because you guys always ask about that, but I actually already put my makeup on today, most of it, um, I didn't do my brows, which I always do, because this is my absolute favorite brow product. 
This is um, Smashbox Brow Tech To Go, and it is empty! And I have not had time to go to the store and get a new one, so I got naked eyebrows. And usually I do like eyeshadow and all of that, but today I thought I'd have a little fun and just do a little gel pot. So for that, my makeup cabinet, I use, look, here's all my brushes. And this is the one that I use. Can you see that? And this time I used black. I have like every color in the world. Because sometimes it's fun to just put on some blue eyeliner. But this time I used Black Track. This is by... Mac, I'm pretty sure. I think. Yeah. Mac. The Mac one is great because you put it on and it dries really fast so you don't get that thing where it like smudges up on your eyelid. Um, I haven't put any lipstick on yet though. Do I feel like wearing bright lipstick today? Not really. I think I'm going to go for something subtle. Okay, maybe not because that might be in my purse. Maybe I'll do this one. We'll see. I forget what color this is. Oh yeah, super light, okay. Let's see how this looks. The light in my bathroom is terrible, so I usually have to go outside and check my makeup on the patio. Whoa, that looks great, bright white. Let's see. Ah. Good? Do we approve? Okay, so I think I'm set for the daytime to get to work on prudent book projects like this one. And sweat all this makeup off and mess up my hair. So that's Thursday with Jamie. Talk to you later. If you have any questions for me, let me know. I'll answer them next week. Bye!